In the crazy world of MagSafe certified chargers, there are two 3-in-1 MagSafe charger stands that stand out. They are the ESR and the Belkin, and here they are side by side. You can see the white is going to be the ESR and the black is going to be the Belkin. Both are utilizing 25 watt chargers and that's not really going to help you so much on something like an iPhone, which if you have the iPhone 15, it's going to top out about 15 watts. Max speed on a MagSafe certified charger only, a non MagSafe certified will not give you 15 watts. You're going to be closer to 10, even five, depending on which charger you get here on both of them, because they have the increased speed at the 25 watts is not only going to be able to charge your iPhone at the full 15 watt speed just to recap a magsafe certification means the product has been approved by apple to be used with their magsafe products and it's going to have that made for magsafe batch if it did not get certified it will not have that batch and it has to be tested and developed for the m5 guidelines so that means it's going to be able to work better faster and it can fast charge up to 15 watts wirelessly However, getting and obtaining the certification usually costs a lot of money because you have to pass all those tests. And that's why a lot of the MagSafe certified chargers are so much more expensive than other non MagSafe certified chargers. So if you see a 301 stand, that might be $40. Well, there's a difference here versus the Belkin that's $100 because the Belkin is going to be able to charge at the full 15 watt wireless. It's also able to do this because MagSafe's major innovation was magnetically aligning the coils to optimize efficiency of power transfer and reduce overall heat. So what that really means is that you just have a better baseline way of just charging your phone, getting it closer to the charging contact so the energy transfer is going to be more efficient and suddenly you just have a easy to use charging wireless charging option the esr 3-in-1 wirelessly charging stand with the magsafe you can see how well everything looks on top of the stand everything's clean you have a button that you can deactivate the power charge for your airpods and if you take a close-up look at it, you'll notice that there is a protruding MagSafe bump there. And that's because there is a backlit LED inside of the actual phone charging part. And there's even a air vent grill. The Belkin 3-in-1 wireless charging is going to be easy to use because all you got to do is set it up right out of the box. There's no hard instructions here. You just plug it and there is a little bit of a gap on the bottom so you can even hide the plug while you have it on your table i do like the little accents there is this kind of like black squishy leatherette or plastic leatherette that's going to be on the back of the belkin and on the front it does have that circular twisty magsafe magnets and it has that beautiful kind of like a metal rod in the middle and it's going to be on that soft touch base this is actually very unlikely and i'm trying to tip it over it's just very unlikely to tip over because of the lightweight of your phone and just the overall design here and how large the base is and if you want to take it with you anywhere you want i will say it doesn't look out of place on most nightstands even if you have a big or a small nightstand i traditionally use mine at night just to watch some videos and then i use it for the standby mode which allows me to use it kind of like an alarm clock i tested all of the charging here and everything works just as fast as specified you have that 15 watt on the phone your your watch is actually going to charge faster here than a normal Qi charger and your AirPods charge just about the same speed for wireless. Which leads us to some of our comparisons. So if you're looking at the bottom of both of these 3-in-1 stands, you'll see that the ESR is not going to be as grippy as the Belkin. And that's because the Belkin, the entire bottom is just one big rubber slab. The Belkin also comes with a serial number, so each one of your pieces are going to be corresponding to something they can track while if you have the esr this is going to be just with a model number and gives you the wireless output of 25 watts 15 watts for your iphone 5 watts for your airpods and 5 watt for your watch where the Belkin does make a jump in terms of performance is that it has the new magnetic fast charging module for the Apple Watch, and that's going to start from the Series 7 Apple Watch. So if you have previous generations of it, it will not work for the fast charge. It can take you from 0 to 80% in just about 45 minutes, but the Belkin still charges at 5 watts for the AirPods. And if you look at the AirPod pad on the ESR, 
this is going to be coming with magnets. So you're pretty sure, actually you're always sure that your case and your air pods are going to be charging if you place it down correctly because the magnet's going to snap into place versus the Belkin where you really got to make sure that the light is on and those lights on the air pods as well as the Belkin are very small. I do love standby mode, but standby mode is not something that is specific to these 3-in-1 MagSafe certified chargers. It does work well and you could turn the actual phone directly rotating on the actual MagSafe, but standby mode can work with MagSafe certified chargers, traditional Qi enabled wireless chargers and wire chargers, because all you need to do is just turn it horizontal and prop it against the stand, and that's gonna trigger the standby mode. So it's not something that's required for you to get some of these more expensive MagSafe certified chargers to get the same look, but you just won't be getting the faster wireless charging speeds. Now let's talk about the strength of the magnet here. So the ESR is going to have more powerful MagSafe magnets built inside its MagSafe, but the Belkin is still very powerful. I think it really comes down to what type of case are you using. So if you're using a newer case with one of those newer magnets, the connection here is going to be very firm to the point where even if you rotate it on directly connected to your stand, it's not going to fall off. It just feels like it's directly connected and you just got to leave it there or you pop it off yourself. But the secret comes down to, are you looking for a 3-in-1 stand that looks good, that charges a little bit faster, but has more powerful magnets? This is where this type of product really fits in. Because if you're looking at previous Qi chargers or previous stands, either the iPhone wouldn't attach correctly or it wouldn't be strong, or it's just gonna be one of those that you just rested on place. So here you have a dedicated charger that is fitting your lifestyle, fits your furniture, fits your decor, has charges faster. And I gotta tell you, I just feel more comfortable protecting my battery utilizing these Apple certified chargers than risking, you know, getting a charger that I'm not sure of. So here, I recommend both and I'll see you soon. This is David with the French Glue, showcasing to you our wireless MagSafe certified chargers. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below and we'll get back to you. And please hit that like or subscribe button. It really does help support our channel. And I'll catch you soon. This is David with the French Glue, signing off. Bye, bye, bye.